What temperature is it in your greenhouse? How hot does my greenhouse get? That's the most common reason people use a thermometer in the greenhouse. And usually it's something like this, okay? This is quite a common thing you'll see in the greenhouse. Um, like, can I get close enough so you can see? Let's see, look at this, okay? So it's got the dial that gives me the temperature and this is bonus, this is a fancy one. It actually also tells me humidity, okay? So it's got the dial with the temperature and humidity. Awesome, I know everything that's going on in my greenhouse. I see these a lot. I think a lot of you guys probably have one of these, don't you? So it's currently saying 21 degrees Celsius in here. Hmm. It totally isn't 21 degrees Celsius, I guarantee you, because it's actually a wee bit chilly. But there you go. Now, the other type, good old fashioned one. This is like the kind of thing your mum and dad had in the house, isn't it? Measurements on the sides and you follow the little red bar up and it tells you. So this one is saying it is 18 degrees. Okay, so 20, 18. I've got another one. This one, long probe and the wee dial on the end. This one is saying 14 degrees Celsius. Now, that's three thermometers I've shown you that are given different temperatures. Now, I've got another one of this one, the exact same one, over here. That one says it's 14 Celsius. So, um, what temperature is my greenhouse then? Which one's right? Well, I suppose that's the question. It's not about what temperature is it and which one's right. It's about why do I want to know? And that's the key, okay? Now, I reckon a huge chunk of you guys are like me until recently, okay? Um, it was only recently that I came across this stuff and it got me interested and that's why I wanted to talk about it. So until recently, if you were like me, you probably just had a thermometer in the greenhouse and that was you, you were like, this is what a temperature it is. Look everyone, you'd run back and, did you know it's 32 degrees in the greenhouse? Oh my God, that's so hot. I bet you. Go and admit it in the comments how many of you guys do that and get all excited about how hot the thermometer says it is. Now, the thing is, we can't calibrate these thermometers. They're just little cheapy things that I got to show you guys this is an experiment. So I've no way of knowing if that was accurate to start with, okay? But there are also other factors that come into play here, okay? And that's what I want to talk about. So we're having a bit of fun with this. But if you actually genuinely really, really want to get onto this, because maybe... I don't know, maybe you grow orchids and you need your greenhouse to be a really specific minimum and maximum point and a certain moisture level and things. Well, you can't really tell what that is from these little thermometers, can you? You've got rough when you come in ideas, but you've no way of really monitoring things. Um, yeah, now the other thing, where these are placed. I've deliberately put them in different parts to show you this. Now, they all gave us different readings, as you see. And it could be simply because of this. The one down there, it's sitting on the pots down there. It's about 10 inches off the floor. It's in shadow, okay? So it's lower in the greenhouse, and we all know heat rises, so it's going to be cooler. It's in shadow, and we always know when you're in shadow, it's a bit cooler. This one over here is on the frame at my eye level in the greenhouse. So theoretically, that could be way hotter some days because if I had sun coming this way, it might actually hit that. And then you're going to measure the temperature in a sunbeam, which is always lovely, as we know. So you've got the absolute polar opposite. Lovely sunbeam in the shady bit. Okay, so again, things are affecting it. It's not really the temperature of the greenhouse. The other one I showed you was the one that's in the pot of soil. So it's in the soil, it's in a pot, it's all 
kind of covered and stuff. It's not getting the sunbeam on it. It might be affected. Maybe I've just watered that pot and that might affect things, okay? So where you put things is going to affect stuff. Because again, that one's over at the door. It might be getting a draft. Lots of things like this. This one's on the shelf. Maybe it's sitting with sunbeam all the time. So these are the things to think about in your where you position your thermometers, okay? And also why you position them there. And there is, you might actually want all these different areas. This sounds mad, but think of it like this. Okay, so springtime is here. It's all lovely. We're just starting off and we're getting all our seed trays going and we're getting all our wee seeds planted, okay? Now, we're always aware of what temperature is because we're like, oh, is it warm enough to plant out yet? Is it warm enough to get seeds going yet? It's not really 100% the ambient temperature of the greenhouse that we need to know. What we actually need for those wee seeds is what temperature is that soil? Because they're in the soil and it's the temperature of the soil that will activate that wee seed and get it to start growing. Okay, So you might want a thermometer that actually takes the temperature of the soil. Now, you know with me, with me guys, no, that's not right. You guys know with me, I was telling you last week, that I've closed my auto vents because they're opening when they shouldn't be because they're in a sunbeam. I've just noticed, look, um, we get such problems with rose herb willow bee in here. Not in here, in the whole garden, but I digress. Okay, I've closed my auto vents because I want to try and keep as much heat in here as I can because the tomatoes and peppers need to be between a minimum and max for them to ripen, okay? So maybe then I want my thermometer to be that sort of height, so it's around the fruits, and that's the temperature I'm monitoring, working with. See? So different places and types of thermometers for different things. All things to think about. It's about more than just what is my ambient temperature in the greenhouse. It's much more about well, why do I want to know a temperature so that I can then monitor that bit. And that's the next bit. Monitor's a good word because with all of these ones, we can look at them, but we can't, and we have to actually physically go to a lot of effort to record the temperatures we are seeing. And we have to be thinking, right, okay, did I get the minimum temperature and the maximum temperature? Was I in the greenhouse at that time to look at things? And that's the last thing I'm going to show you, okay? This is a, a whole different ball game now talking about this stuff. And it's this. I'm going to take it off the wall to show you because it's quite small. Look at this. Okay? You can't actually read the temperature on there. How weird is that? This is actually a digital thermometer and hygrometer. I can never say that. And this actually Bluetooth's the info to my phone, okay? And it is always recording and it gives me a graph and things that I can follow. And that lets me see high temperatures, low temperatures, where they, they alter at different parts of the day, what's happening. So if I was wanting to really get serious about the temperature in my greenhouse and keep an eye on all of that stuff for a reason, this is quite a cool way of doing it. Because then I've got all of that data to work with. What it doesn't, though, is it doesn't give me that wee happy boost when I come in and I see the thermometer on the shelf reading that it's crazy hot in here and I can pretend that I'm in, like, Benidorm or something. So, yeah. Now, the other thing... I'm not going to put that back up there now, so it'll take me ages. The other thing I was saying about a draft, where it's positioned, that kind of thing, can actually affect the temperature. And again, if you're dead serious about all this growing, you do want to have airflow in the greenhouse where you're measuring it, because if it's just static air, you can get pockets of hot air where you get warm spots and things. So all these kind of things are cool to think about. But yeah, um, on saying that, do you want to know what temperature it actually is in here? Yeah? Okay. Okay, here we go. It is currently... Mm -mm -mm. Oops, I've hit the wrong button you like, come on. Okay, this is my digital and calibrated thermometer and it is currently actually 15.2 degrees Celsius. 
So this one was far too high, but the other one was actually quite a bit closer. So there we go. Now, interestingly, I can tell you that it is also <laughs> currently 13 degrees Celsius outside. So my greenhouse is two degrees warmer inside than it is outside. See? All cool things that you can know about when you've got toys that you can try and play with. I hope that was helpful, guys. Feel free if you want to have a chat about this stuff down in the comments as always. And like every week I tell you, if you like this sort of stuff, grow those likes. Give it a wee thumbs up and let me know that this is the type of stuff you like. And remember I was saying to you all about, if you want to get an alert whenever I post a new video, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit the wee bell and set your notifications up. And I will be with you again next week. See you guys!